Good afternoon, Elkins Builders. Yeah, hi. I'm calling to speak to someone about building a house and a property I'm looking to purchase. Hey, everyone. In this video, we're going to see how you can automatically extract phone call insights using LLMs in Python. So our program will automatically extract a summary of the call. It will automatically extract a list of action items to follow up on. And it will automatically extract the contact information so that we can easily follow up on those action items. And you can find all the code for this tutorial in the repository linked in the description. And you can follow along in the blog version of it if you want to copy and paste the code as we go. We'll just need the Assembly AI Python SDK for this tutorial. And you can install that with pip install assembly AI. If you don't already have an Assembly AI API key, you can get one using the sign up form linked in the description. Once you're in your dashboard, you can copy your API key by clicking this button. And then we're going to go set it as an environment variable. So if you're on Mac or Linux, you can do export assembly AI API key and set it equal to the value you just copied. And if you're on Windows, do the same thing, except use set instead of export. Now we're ready to write our program. So go ahead and create a file in your project directory called main.py. First, we need to transcribe the phone call. So import the assembly AI package as uh, AAI, and then go ahead and create a transcriber object. Next, we'll use our transcriber's transcribe method to transcribe the phone call. So we'll set our transcript equal to transcriber.transcribe, and then you just pass in the audio file you want to use. So this can either be a, a path to a local file, so call.mp3, or it can be the URL of a publicly accessible audio or video file. When we run this program, the file will be transcribed by assembly AI, and we'll be able to access that transcript through the transcripts.txt uh, attribute. Now that we have the transcript, we can perform LLM operations on it using Lemur. So Lemur is a framework for applying LLMs to audio data, and we're going to use that here. And you'll need to add funds to your account to use Lemur, so go ahead and do that back in your dashboard if you haven't done so already. So the first thing we need to do is create a prompt to prompt the LLM with. So create a prompt variable, and we're going to set it equal to a string. First, we're going to define the role that this LLM will take in the context of this application. So here we tell the LLM that it's a customer service professional, and it's very competent at extracting meaningful insights from customer calls that are submitted to it. So next, we're going to provide the LLM with a little bit of additional context on the type of call we're going to get. So we just say that this call is from somebody who's inquiring at a home building company. Now it's time to specify an actual instruction for the LLM. So we tell the LLM to provide a short summary of the phone call, and list any outstanding action items after the summary, and then finally provide the caller's contact information and do not include a preamble. And finally, we're gonna provide the LLM with a specific desired format that we want it to respond with. So we'll just add that next. So we specify format, and then we ask it for a summary with a one or two sentence summary, action items, and a bulleted list of sufficiently detailed action items, and then some contact information, and we specify that we want the last name and then the first name, and then the caller's phone number. And then finally, we're just going to strip off the extraneous uh, new line characters at the beginning and end of this string. Now that we've defined our prompt, it's time to actually submit this prompt to the LLM. So we'll store the result in a variable called result. And we're going to call the lemur attribute of our transcript, which gives us access to all of lemur's different endpoints. And for this, we're going to use a task. So this is used for just submitting a general task to lemur, like we've defined here. All we have to do is just submit the prompt. And finally, all we have to do is print off the response that we get. So we're going to print off the results response. And again, we're just going to strip off any extraneous white space. And that's all we have to do. So we can go ahead and run the program. Uh, so we can see here that we just got our response. And we get the summary. The caller is interested in getting an estimate for building a house on a property he is looking to purchase in Westchester. Uh, we see action items for somebody to contact him back and to schedule a time for somebody to look at the property prior to purchase, and we get his contact information. And if we go back and take a look at the recording of the phone call, we can see that all this information is indeed accurate. Yeah, hi, I'm calling to speak to someone about building a house and a property I'm looking to purchase. What's your first name, please? Kenny. And your last name? Lindstrom, it's L-I-N-D-S-T-R-O-M. Thank you, and may I have your callback number? It's 610-265-1715. And where is the property that you're looking for an estimate on? It's in Westchester. I haven't purchased the land yet. I, I'd like to see if I could get 
an estimate or have them take a look at it before before I do. Extracting phone call insights is really useful. It can be used for lead intelligence, conversational data analysis, sales coaching, and a lot more. If you want to learn more about these use cases, you can check out this blog on AI-powered call analytics, and I'll link that in the description too. Or if you want to check out another video, you can check out Patrick's latest video on four LLM frameworks to build AI apps with audio data. All right, see you in the next video. Getting to work large language models with audio data requires a lot of different steps. That's why these frameworks come into play. So in this video, I show you what steps are necessary, and then we have a look at the four different frameworks. So let's get started.